Hi guys, it's Mrs. Santiago here, and today we're going to be commenting on Thanksgiving food. So I am in your OneNote, chapter 6, page 22, comments on food, Thanksgiving food. So let's take a look. I'm going to get rid of the table of contents, and I am not going to make the big page too big because I want you to see what's on the side of the page. So on the side, we have what I'm going to call the word bank and the picture bank that you're going to need to complete this assignment. So first, I'm going to take the notes with you. So food comments. When you comment on the food that is in front of you, you, you use the verb estar because the condition of the food is temporary. Okay, the one on your plate. Temporary. Ham might generally be delicious, but the ham on your plate is salty. So let's start by reviewing a star. A star means to be, and it's used for P L A C E, right? Position, location, action, condition, emotion. So I'm going to write it down like that because that's how I'm used to seeing it, but it's going into my chart. So I'm going to have to write it this way. P L A C E. Okay, and today we're talking about this C condition. So it would be yo estoy, tu estás, el, ella, usted, any one person or thing, está, nosotros estamos. And ellos, ellas, ustedes, any two or more people or things, están. For the food comments, we're generally going to be down here in this row. One item, two or more items. So, estar is used for temporary conditions. Example, está nublado, it is cloudy. Think back to weather. Yo estoy mal. I am bad. Thinking about health, like maybe not feeling well, I am bad. Mi leche está caliente. Okay, my milk, the one in front of me, is hot. If your milk is hot, here's my glass of milk, Okay, it's been sitting in the sun and this is the steam coming off of it and it's not supposed to be hot. Don't drink it. Okay, don't want you to get sick. Okay, so we're going to be coming, commenting on Thanksgiving food dishes. You need to make a comment about the condition of the food and then add an exclamation, follow the model. So here's my model. I put in um, a picture of ham, el jamón. So el jamón and I know that I'm going to be using a star, so it's one ham, so it's going to be esta. El jamón está muy salado. Remember, salado salty because it's el jamón, and they have to match. Um, now I have to decide, do I like salty ham or don't I? If I don't, then I'm going to use a negative comment, like que asco. If I like it, then I might say que rico. How delicious. Que rico. Que delicioso. You have all of those comments on the previous page in your OneNote. They will be hanging in the classroom if you are working from school. Now let's look at the assignment. Te toca a ti. Your turn. Choose a clip art from the Thanksgiving food pictures to the right and put the clip art in the box and name the item in Spanish on the line below the picture. Make a comment about the dish in front of you on the line to the right of the place setting and then an exclamatory remark next to the exclamation mark. This is the same model that we followed on the food comments yesterday. So I will do this example with you and then you will have four to do on your own. So I am going to choose the cranberry sauce. So I'm going to move it, just click it and drag it. It's a little bit big, so I'm going to size it down. Okay, 
now all of the words that you need are up here. So all I have to do is find, here's the word for um, the cranberry sauce, arandanos. So I'm actually going to steal it. I'm going to drag it down with me so I don't even have to rewrite it because I know it's going to fit on that line. I'm just going to steal it and put it right there so I know what I'm talking about. Now I can write my food comment. So first I'm going to comment on the cranberries. Okay, so los arandanos. Okay, there's an accent mark. It's plural, so I'm going to use están. And um, sometimes if they're picked too soon, I'm going to say they're agrios. Look back on your list. Hopefully you can remember agrios. Mm. My mouth is making the face. Ugh. So they are sour. Make sure that because it's arandanos plural, I made it agrios plural. Now I'm going to make my exclamation and I can use a positive or a negative word. Because I called them sour, I'm going to use a negative word. Que, because it's arandanos, que malos. How bad. Okay, malos again has to match arandanos. So you get to choose any of the four pictures from everything that's shown there um, and make comments about what you think about Thanksgiving. Again, the words are listed above and make sure you're using a star. Okay, muy bien.